We gonna feed the fish? For Shona Holmes, okay. simple pleasures, playing with her dog, walking in her garden, are a gift. Four years ago, she was diagnosed with a brain tumor, told if it wasn't removed, she could go blind or die. I'm sure you're blind, no doubt at all. And, and I realized right after the surgery how bad my vision was. Because Shona is Canadian, but for her surgery, she went to the U.S. because it would have taken four to six months just to see specialists in Canada's government-run health care system, the only option here. All my life I've lived in this country with public health insurance, and I always thought that I would be okay, that everything would be fine. So this is basically all of the surgery. Shona's bills at the Mayo Clinic, where she was treated, totaled $100,000 she borrowed from family and friends. And that's the stuff that I find so tragic, having dinner with my friends, and I know how much money I owe them. Republicans in Washington are seizing on Shona's story and other accounts from Canada to warn against government involvement in health care. Uh, how are the rooms running? Dr. David Zelt is chief of staff at Ontario's Kingston General Hospital. GOP Senate leader Mitch McConnell singled out Kingston as Exhibit A of staggering delays in Canadian care. We played Zelt the speech. Knee replacements. Well, at Kingston General, the average wait is about 340 days. Zelt's response, McConnell is exaggerating. Average time to get a, a knee replacement here is, is 91 days. But he does admit in Canada's system where the government covers everyone, there are limits and shortages. Some patients do have to wait. I'm not going to say there aren't, we don't have issues, but uh, again, if you take the other side of the coin, these patients have access. Despite Shona Holmes' horror story, Canadian officials insist most patients with life-threatening problems are treated quickly. That's my dad. Doug Wright can attest yes. to that. He has cancer, a tumor on his leg. He's got the money to get care in the U.S., but says there's no reason. Uh, I've not had to wait. I've seen, you know, some of the best specialists in the country. And though taxes are high here, he and others remind us Canadian health care available to all is free.